Hi, it's Carol from bookreporter.com and I'm here to share what you're going to see on the site on Friday, February 28th. One thing we've got this weekend is an extra day in February. It's February 29th only happens every four years. Um, it also does something that's unmagical for me because February and March's calendars are usually exactly the same. So the 14th and one month, the same in the other. This year, it's blown for me. I have to be completely off and I have to pay attention, move everything a day. For books this week, First, from Steve Berry, we've got the Warsaw Protocol, which is the latest in his Cotton Malone series, Seven Relics, Three Nations, One Deadly Secret. And you know, in Steve's hands, it's going to be one brisk ride. Next, from Eric Larson, who you know from Devil in the White City and Dead Wake, we've got The Splendid and the Vile, uh, his latest book, Saga of Churchill, Family, and the Defiance During the Blitz. Um, I heard him actually speak about this book. He's such a great speaker about his work. I encourage you, if you get an opportunity to hear him, definitely go. Um, once again, you know you're going to have a book that's heavily researched but eminently readable in what you're going to have in The Splendid and the Vile. Next, from James Rapondo, we've got The Big Lie, which is the latest in his series. And once again, it's the Jack Switek series. So latest from James Grappando, another author who, when he's calling tales, he actually picks up uh, little threads from the other books that weave into these that make it why the continuing characters work in each of his books. And you're going to see all kinds of different references that a little bit of backstory, but more how he propels the story along is what makes the book so interesting. And again, another series new book. Look at this little slim novel. Don't you love little slim novels? Okay. This is Trouble is What I Do, and it's from Walter Mosley. So slim novel. Um, like if anybody's getting on an airplane soon, something easy to take on the plane with you. From Robert DeConey, we've got A Cold Trail. Um, this is one of the latest in his Tracy Crosswhite series. And Everybody who's read these books really identifies with uh, wanting to hear more from Tracy, find out what's going on. In this one, what we have is three murders that are decades apart. Connecting them could be the death of Tracy Crosswhite. So when you're sitting and picking this up, you know you're going to have some great backstory that he writes in so well. But for those who are really ardent lovers of Tracy, um, the Tracy character, uh, you know you're going to have a good one here as well. I always love Bob Dagoni's books. I have been reading him probably since way back at the beginning. I remember his first book. I'm spacing on the title right now, but he's been one of those authors. That when I pick up, I always know I'm going to get a real solid read. And his fan base has just been growing over the last years. And somebody who I'm just so thrilled to be seeing his continued success. We're going to have a podcast for you this week, just a podcast, no video. But for those of you who have never listened to podcasts, we're going to make it super simple for you to listen in. It'll be right up on the site. All you have to do is click a button just the same way as you go and watch things on YouTube. But this one, you'll just be listening. We've got Luann Rice talking about her novel, Last Day. This book is actually based on something that happened with her family. And that was really the inspiration for the story. There was a crime that was committed years ago. This is not the story of that crime, but it's based on something that she learned with that crime. And it's just completely well done. Um, Lynn and I have known each other for years. I think you're really going to enjoy the podcast. We have two bets on selections this week. There are two books that I've been spoken to about recently. First one is The Other Misses by Mary Kubica. And the other one is St. X by Alexis Shaken. Really terrific books. Um, both are thrillers. Both are thrillers in completely different ways, the way that they unfold, the way they tell their stories. Both have very, very, very unexpected things that happen throughout, which I think are going to make them so interesting for you to be able to read. And I'm also going to be sharing a bread recipe. I'm hoping I can find it online. If not, I'll tell you the cookbook. They made this fabulous bread this weekend with uh, sunflower seeds in it and also um, pumpkin seeds. And it was terrific and super, super simple, no kneading, which is exactly my favorite part about making bread. So look forward to seeing you on Friday. Have a great week.